Do you know that lung cancer is the third most common cancer among Malaysians? So why is lung cancer detected late most of the time? Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Leong. I'm a clinical oncologist and I'm passionate about raising awareness in lung cancer. Just check out the statistics here. Only less than 10% of patients present at stage 1 and stage 2 of lung cancer, whereas up to 80% presents at stage 4. So why is lung cancer detected late most of the time? It is because when it is at stage 1 or 2, the patients often are very well and they do not have any symptom to present with. So by the time they have some nagging symptoms, they would already be in stage 3 or 4. So if you have a cough that isn't going away after several weeks, despite taking some form or short course of antibiotics, or you have chest pain, or you feel fatigued easily and you lose weight or loss of appetite unintentionally, these are called warning symptoms or warning signs. And this is where you should talk to your doctor about doing further tests. So when a patient is suspected to have lung cancer, the doctor will advise you to undergo a procedure known as a biopsy. So essentially, a needle is inserted into the area of the tumour and a small chunk of tissue is taken out for evaluation in the lab. Lung cancer refers to a malignant growth that arises from any part of the lung and it is divided into two big categories. The patient can have a non-small cell lung cancer or a small cell lung cancer. So when we evaluate the tumour cell under the microscope, we are able to determine the size of the cancer cell. And so that is how the non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer are derived from. Why is it important for us to know whether a patient has non-small cell lung cancer or small cell lung cancer? It is because the treatment differs significantly based on your tumour profile. So the doctors often take you through different stages of cancer when a patient is diagnosed. You'll be hearing things like, you know, it's stage 1, 2, 3 or 4 and really what does that mean? When a patient is diagnosed at a stage 1 and 2 lung cancer, it means essentially the cancer is at a very localised stage. So i.e. it's still confined in the lung or in the lymph nodes surrounding the lung tumour. So when a patient is diagnosed as a stage 3, we call them a locally advanced lung cancer. So this is when the cancer has spread local regionally to the surrounding structures and they may not be able to undergo surgery up front. Unfortunately, when the doctor says that the patient has a stage 4 cancer, especially in lung cancer, it means that the cancer has spread well beyond the lung tissue and also the regional lymph nodes. So the common area for lung cancer to spread to are the liver, the bone and sometimes even the brain. I'm Dr. Jennifer Leong. If you have learned something from this video, do share the video with your friends and family.